This question appeared in IES 2021 paper, question 1A. The demand and supply functions are given to you. PD is equal to 6 minus X ka whole square and PS is equal to 14 plus X. So find consumer surplus under pure competitive market. So the best is, I mean, we should be defining what the consumer surplus are because since this is a mathematical question, just write one line. So given the demand curve, given the demand curve, P is equal to DQ and a supply curve. P is equal to SQ, right? And when you just find out the equilibrium point where P is equal to, uh, your demand is equal to supply and the equilibrium point, P star Q star. Consumer surpluses integral zero to Q star DQ DQ minus P star Q star integral zero to Q star. DQ DQ minus P star Q star, right? Now, if you look at this problem, uh, you are given with P is equal to demand function is six minus X square. So looking at this, I mean, the standard form of the parabola, you can easily see that uh, it is in uh, your, your, this kind of the parabola. Right, that is that is going to open upward, right? And the other thing which you can see is when, so you have X here, you have P out here. Other thing which, which you can see is when X is zero, P is 36, right? When P is zero, X is six. So it will be somewhat like this, right? Somewhat like this types. But I'm not concerned with the upward sloping portion. So just the downward sloping part like this. So this is six out here. Okay. And uh, what about your uh, supply function? Your PS is equal to 14 plus X. So when X is zero, price is 14. When P is zero, X is minus 14. So from here, I know that supply function will look somewhat like this. So this is going to be an equilibrium point. This guy here is going to be an equilibrium point here. So I'll again draw this with, with the values which I want. So you have X, you have price. So this is going to the demand curve. And this is what my supply curve is. This point is 46. This point is six. This is what my supply function is. And this is what my demand function is. Right. You can just write BDPS, whatever. And uh, where is the equilibrium point? Where demand is equal to supply. So demand is what? Six minus X the whole square. Supply is what? 14 plus X. Demand is what? Six minus X the whole square. And supply is what? 14 plus X. So when you will open this up, you'll be getting 36 plus x square minus 12x is equal to x plus 14. Is equal to x plus 14. And when you will solve this up, you'll be getting x square 
माइनस थर्टीन एक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज वॉट यू गोट सो दिस यू कैन जस्ट फैक्टराइज माइनस इलेवन एक्स माइनस टू एक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी टू माइनस इलेवन सो एक्स माइनस टू एक्स माइनस इलेवन इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो आई गेस आई मीन वी वोट बी कंसिडरिंग एक्स इक्वल्स टू इलेवन बिकॉज आई डिमांड फंक्शन फॉल्स हेयर आई मीन इट बिकम्स जीरो आउट हेयर एट दिस पॉइंट so we'll be only considering x equals to 2 so we'll be only considering x equals to 2 so this is what 2 is right and at x equals to 2 your you can just substitute x equals to 2 in either of the demand function or the supply function so you have uh, at x equals to 2 P is equal to x fourteen plus x, so fourteen plus two, which is sixteen. Right. So fourteen plus two, which is sixteen. So the idea is that uh, your uh, consumer surplus is this area. Consumer surplus is this area. So you will find out the integral of the demand function. From zero to two, right, and uh, from there, what exactly you will be doing out here is that uh, you will be subtracting this particular area, right? This is what p into q is. So p is sixteen and q is two out here. P is sixteen and q is two out here. So consumer surplus. is given by integral 0 to 2 that is 0 to q star that's what we have written out here 0 to q star so it is 0 to 2 6 minus x square dx minus p star x star minus p star x star so The idea is I take just one step, which is thirty-six plus x square minus twelve x dx minus sixteen into two. And when you will just integrate it, so this is going to come out to be thirty-six x by three. Minus twelve x square by two, and you have to find out for these limits. Minus thirteen to two. You just have to plug in the value for two, so this comes out to be six out here. So thirty-six into two plus. Two q by three minus six two square minus sixteen into two. So I guess I mean approximately. Once you will solve this up, you will be getting this guy. So just check the calculation. Uh, just check the calculation. So this is the way you should be answering this question, right? Thank you, Rupa.